In the meantime, the president is once again threatening to pull federal funds for wildfire relief in California. Yeah, in fact, he tweeted, billions of dollars are sent to the state of California for forest fires that with proper forest management would never happen. Unless they get their act together, which is unlikely, I have ordered FEMA to send no more money. Governor Newsom responded on Twitter saying, we have been put in office by the voters to get things done, not to play games with lives. The president already approved a major disaster declaration in the campfire. KPX 5's Wilson Walker on what this will mean for the victims. It was just 53 days ago, President Trump toured the ruins of paradise and promised help for those who had lost everything. The federal government is behind you. We're all behind each other. I think we can truly say, Jerry. Right? And now we have another tweet threatening wildfire aid for California. So can he just undo his disaster declaration? Under the Stafford Act, when the president declares a disaster, FEMA can fund no less than 75 percent. Craig Fugate knows a little something about disasters. He was the FEMA administrator for six years. Stay off the road, stay out of the water. He says there's no real way for Trump to claw back the money already promised to California. I don't know how FEMA doesn't provide the funding once it's already been declared. I don't know what the mechanism is that you would say we wouldn't fund it. Now, we tried to ask FEMA what exactly the president actually ordered them to do. Please leave a message and we will return your call after the funding hiatus. So we're left with a tweet that really changes nothing for fire victims now, but it presents a kind of horrifying possibility for the victims of California's next fire disaster. The troublesome thing is that we've been potentially looking at disaster declarations as a tool to force policies. That's kind of, I'm not sure where we're going with there, but the president certainly can make the decision not to declare a disaster. Right, here I am talking about this as a practical governing matter, and to state the obvious, uh, a, a tweet is not a, a, a function or a lever of government. But to the larger point, we have the president, again, seeming to be far more concerned with his ideas on forest management than he is the suffering of his own citizens from a specific kind of disaster in one very specific state. So uh, I think that is why we saw blowback today, not just from Gavin Newsom, Dianne Feinstein, but also Doug LaMalfa, the entirely Republican representative representative from Butte County. Right. And blowback from citizens coming too. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Wilson, thank you.